who doesn't like to hang out with their dog? Hector and I are best friends. Diane Gottsman is here with all the tips to ensure you're practicing proper doggy etiquette when dining with your man's best friend or your BFF at home. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Well, in the summertime, we love taking our pets out to eat with us, but there are certain do's and don'ts that you must follow in order to dine correctly. And Elvis is joining me this morning for this segment, and so is Diane Gottsman with her her doggy well, on loan. <laughs> this is Sammy, and I am the official. I've just named myself the God Mommy to oh, Sammy. Oh, you are Sammy's yes, God Mommy. I love that. Grandma and this Mommy are watching. So anyway, we are going to teach Elvis and Sammy. They're going to teach us, actually, okay. how to dine out when you go out to a restaurant. Okay, this is very important. And there are a lot of great restaurants around San Antonio that love to have pets there. But you got to follow certain rules. And the first one is to keep your dog on a leash. That's right. And, you know, wrapped around my hand is a little leash for Sammy because he's probably not going to hurt a fly maybe a fly but you know if he sees a little cricket or if he sees a big dog he may take off and run but if we have him attached he's not going to go very far for his own safety and for other people's that might trip over him what so are you trying to go? where's elvis going elvis where's elvis is, is leash? he's trying to escape so if you were taking him to eat about. you would have him nice and close and you wouldn't put him on the chair you wouldn't connect him to the chair because okay. if he Just were a bigger him. dog the chair would take off and it would hurt you know the bigger dog not these two okay more so than keep likely. it secured around yes. your arm this is important you don't want to let the dog get in the aisle where the servers are trying to bring your food. So you think that you'd want the do the bigger dogs to just kind of lay down right next to you, and you do, but off to the side, maybe even Shree. under the table, because what happens is you're going to trip the server, you're going to trip customers, you might step on their little big paws themselves, and certainly little dogs like Sammy and Elvis, you know, you want to make sure that they're close enough that somebody is not going to step on them and right. hurt them. Right, I know. <laughs> Um, this one surprised me earlier in the show. He was sniffing around my leg, and I was like, oh, I forgot that he was even here. So you forget yeah. about those little guys every now and then. Okay, another great tip is to make sure that the dog you're bringing to dinner knows a few commands. So you don't bring a dog oh, out if you know that the dog is going to be nervous, if you mm -hmm. know that he's a biter or she's a biter. You know, we're not going to be prejudiced about one gender or the other. If you know that, you know, they don't know how to stay, they don't want want to stay still or they're very excitable so you know obviously our two babies right here are very very they're calm. pretty darn good yes. I know so but they need to know how to sit how to stay you know just just little basic commands just like we should okay. have just we should know now if Elvis and I are out at dinner am I allowed to hold him like this and just feed him straight from my plate oh because he's gonna be real excited about that <laughs> right I know you are So I think this is the cutest thing let me get this okay. this is a little travel kit. See this? It looks like a flat little frisbee. Okay. And look, it opens up. See, Sammy? Oh, Sammy says, this is your Sammy. It opens <laughs> up into a little travel bowl. Perfect. So cute. Look at this. So you can so feed them from their own bowl. You can feed them bowl. from their own bowl. And you know, no, you cannot feed them from your plate. Okay. You know, in other words, plate to mouth. And you want to make sure that you don't want them to drink water out of that that big bowl that has all that kind of... Oh, the communal doggy yes, bowl at the restaurant? Yes. I know, that's a good time. Hold on. Elvis, what? Elvis wants his mommy. I'm sending him over to Denise. Uh -oh. Go get mommy. Go get mommy. And so when if they get excited, you know, bring a little, bring a little toy that they know that they're familiar with that okay. will calm them down. Now, Sammy obviously is more interested than Elvis than he is his toy. <laughs> Sammy's like, how come Elvis That's got to right. go? Why am I still here? <laughs> Let me ask you about a doggy bag. Is it okay to ask for a doggy bag from a doggy? So, you know, when you are at a business meal, I had to throw in that some adult etiquette in our bullets. When you're out on a business meal, you're probably not taking in your doggy and at a business meal men and women don't ask to take a doggy bag and they don't ask to share oh. now if you are out with <laughs> what if Sammy, it's a really really <laughs> delicious dinner and you want to take it with you if you're with your friends and family yes if but you're not with a, business? a client okay. no if I'm with Sammy and Sammy wants the leftovers that I have and his mommy would let him have them then I can ask for a little doggy bag okay so this right here that's not a doggy bag and that doggy bag that's is, different that's right because you want to be prepared right because sometimes they have to just like we have to go you know excuse ourselves you gotta sometimes, go you gotta go sometimes they have to go right so they make sure that you have a doggy bag not the doggy bag that you can put a little in. poop bag yes 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 and that you can take them and excuse yourself to go to the grass okay. and you know that doesn't mean near some you, you see plants and grass and we don't want the doggies going right there the real grass away far yes. away from the restaurant yes very good great information Diane thank you so much every now and then we need a little refresher and so do our doggies of course if you've got questions
questions, you can contact Diane Gottsman. She is our etiquette expert with the Protocol School of Texas right here in San Antonio. For more details or questions, go to DianeGottsman.com or call the number on your screen. It's 826-740.